If you're trying to keep your floors clean with a robotic vacuum, then you have found the right video. Medea has reached out to us asking to review their S8 Plus robotic vacuum and it's got all the features that you need to keep the job done. And not to mention a vibration technology that helps it scrub the floors. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another episode of Good Tech Cheap. My name is Brad and I'll be the host for today's episode. If you are new to the channel, then I totally recommend you to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell if you'd like to receive notifications. In today's episode, we have my Diaz S8 Plus robotic vacuum to review. And we've got all the links and additional details about the S8 Plus located in the description. So first thing is first, we are going to get it out of the box, do some cleaning and see how well it does. Massive box. So let's get it out and see what I would have on the inside. On the very top, we've got some paperwork. And then we start getting all of our stuff. We have an accessory box and then a lot of individual pieces. So let's start with the accessories. And here we have our brushes, our filter, some bags for the auto emptying container. Underneath here we have a mop container as well as a pad. And then in this box is the S8 Plus vacuum. What a beauty, it's in black. Got the brush on the bottom, some nice rubber wheels, a foam bumper guard, let's get those out. Great looking vacuum. I like the top, it's got a carbon fiber look to it. A nice checkered look. Then lastly in the box we have the self-emptying container and charging dock. So this will auto-empty the dust bin as well as charge it when it's done vacuuming. Looks really nice. On top, we've got the bag and dustbin. So. so let's get everything together, charge it up, and clean up this mess we made. After getting a good charge and syncing it to my mobile device using the M Smart Life app, it did an excellent job mapping out my rooms, creating a saved map for making no-go zones, virtual walls, scheduled cleanups, and more. The fully automated intelligent cleaning was also impressive. With its new LDS navigation system, it was able to accurately scan my home and let the robot clean in different modes, so that way it would not miss any spots or repeat any areas. And you can also connect Alexa and Google to the app for voice support. So I ran it over some trash that I laid out that my cats usually end up making anyways, and it picked it up without any issues on the first run through. And that was also with the standard suction settings. A lot of trash like this usually takes competitor vacuums a couple of passes to pick it all up, but this one did in one. It also done an excellent job from going to wood floors to the carpet and didn't have any issues climbing up or getting hung up on the edge. After getting the floors clean, it will automatically return home or if the battery starts to get low, it will pause the cleaning sessions, return home to recharge and then continue its cleaning session. Although with the 5200 milliamp battery giving it 180 minutes of run time, it doesn't really have that issue in my home. I can get all my floors cleaned on one full charge. Once docked after the cleanup, this is where the automatic dust collection features come into play. Where it will empty the dust compartment from the robot into the collection bag that is placed inside the collection system. 
The bag also seals on its own, so when replacing, you don't have to worry about getting any trash or dirt on your hands. I can also get around a month of use before having to change the dust collection bag. And considering they include extra bags, you don't have to worry about getting extra for a bit. That also goes for an extra filter and brushes that's included. And once again, that is something that most competing vacuums do not offer in my experience. We also have mopping accessories that will hold water, allowing you to get the ultimate cleaning session going. While one being a standard water tank, the other one has an ultra frequency vibration feature that wipes and mops stubborn floor stains with a super vibrating technology. I consider this is a pretty cool feature considering most robotic vacuums don't even weigh enough to give the floor a good scrub. So this technology actually pays off. Although if you'd rather use the non-vibrating water tank, you have the option to do so. Overall, this robotic vacuum is next level in my opinion. I'm really happy with all the upgraded sensors. It worked extremely well on the carpet as well as the regular floors. Along with this super mopping technology that puts extra shine to the floors. I mean, what's not to like about this vacuum? So if you're in the market for a robotic vacuum, I would highly recommend looking into the Madea S8 Plus for keeping that home clean. We have our links and details located in the description if you'd like to take a look. I would also like to give a big shout out to Medea for partnering up with us so we could give you this review. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and get in the comments letting us know what your thoughts are on it. That is going to be it for today's episode. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on if you'd like to receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next review.